the missing sixth coin of OPS. This is um, for objective personality. There are nine genetic coins, and we're going to take a look at them and then see what's the missing sixth coin. Uh, <clears throat> so there is the sixth coin is me. No, it's the sixth coin is the ambivert versus omnivert. So what's the problem? Why do we need to come up with a, another coin? Um, so the problem is we have all these nine coins here. And as we added the info energy coin, we're missing one for the sixth coin, which is said to be conditional logic. And so this coin remains unnamed, as at least as far as the genetic coins go. And we use coins like introvert, extrovert, or um, consume blast, sleep consume. But the sad thing is, even in this list, it's clear that the sleep consume play, the, the sleep blast, uh, or the sleep, um, what is it? The sleep play and the consume blast coins aren't actually the genetic coins. Those coins are byproducts of these genetic coins. Because we have nine coins, which makes five twelve types. All right. So what's this and what's this? What are we going to do about it? Um, so again, yeah, why do we need to care? Is none of the other eight coins use conditional logic, and um, you can improve your typing results. Um, I certainly did. Um, so I've been observing this coin for at least the past twenty two weeks. And it actually helps you improve on challenging animal stacks like consume, play, sleep, and consume, sleep, play, as well as blast, sleep, play, and blast, play, sleep. Um, so over the last 22 weeks, I actually got 86.3% accuracy. And so it's helping me be a lot more accuracy. Well, that's for this coin. Um, the rest is roughly around 80%. Um, Okay, so what's the solution? So as you're introducing the ambivert and omnivert coin, um, or you call it the ambivert, non-ambivert coin, whatever floats your boat, I don't really care about the name. Um, the point is there is this coin, this coin exists, and the way we think about it um, can really help us with typing. Um, I've been calling it ambivert, omnivert coin. Um, so what is an ambivert? An ambivert is the skibs and the douchebags. So the consume play, play consume, as well as the sleep blast, blast sleep. Um, and the omniverts are the sleep consume, consume sleep, or the blast play, play blast. And you can see that the ambiverts are, they have the first two animals, one is introverted and the other is extroverted, or vice versa, right? Extroverted animal is one and then introverted animal is the other. And then for the omniverts, you have either two introverted functions, uh, introverted animals as your first two, or you have two extroverted animals as your first two. So it's kind of like nature is betting, hey, can this person be a complete introvert extrovert, or do we need to give them the ability to be both introverted and extroverted, right? Um, and then you can ask yourself, like, do these pairings mean anything to you? Like, from the people you know, if you've been typing or whatever, right? Like, do these pairings make sense to you? Do, do they seem familiar? Um, like, what what do these people stand, how do these people stand out to you? Um, and so we see here, the ambiverts are these people, these lovely people. They have one foot in the introvert world, one foot in the extroverted world. Even Tim Ferriss, you know, as introverted as he is, he's putting himself out there. Um, he's an ambivert. He's not, they're not the life of the party necessarily. They're not orchestrating everything. Maybe they are, but they're, they have a foot in the introverted world. Like they're going to get tired. They're going to spend about maybe three hours at a party or something or one hour. Omniverts, on the other hand, check this out. These people, you either have to drag Jerry Seinfeld to a party or you have to tell Chelsea Handler, 
to stop controlling everything, to stop being such a force, you know, because there's such massive extroverted energy. And you got Tony Robbins who will have sessions for about with like 10,000 people for like 12, 14 hours or something, right? Um, and so the labels we have for these people are skibs, douchebags, mopes, and crackheads. I did not come up with these, but these are what we affectionately call them as of now. And so the mopes and the crackheads, they are, have massive swings between the introverted and extroverted world. Skibs and douchebags have one foot in either world. So my results were 86.3% accuracy for this coin, the ambivert, omnivert coin. Because as you see on the left side of these 11 typings on the left and the 11 types on the right, there are only three total that I got wrong um, for the ambivert coin. I'm seeing mopes as mopes. I'm seeing skibs as skibs. I'm seeing ambiverts as ambiverts, and I'm seeing... Um, Omniverts is omniverts. And you can even notice that I'm actually getting the first two animals right for all of these. And um, so in a way, right? And here we had, um, for example, last week we had Maya Angelou and she was not blast play. How did I know that? Because she was not omniverted. Um, anyway, moving on. So that was my results. Characteristics of the ambivert omnivert is that they're doubling up on their introverted or extroverted animals, or they're not in their first two animals, right? That's what this is measuring. This is this is what the coin is. It is completely independent and not conditional on any other coin. It doesn't matter if someone is ambiverted and they're consumed first, that means they're automatically consumed play. If they turned out to be blast first and they're ambiverted, it turns out it's gonna be blast sleep, right? So it's not conditional per se. It is conditional if you're trying to talk about the specific animals because animals are byproducts and those animals are conditional because they're byproducts. So the experience is either you have one foot in both worlds, that's the ambivert experience, and the omnivert experience is you have massive swings between the introverted and extroverted world. Um, yeah. Like I bet Tony Robbins might think of himself as introverted. No, but probably not. But I bet he has a massive swing when he's in front of the mirror or something. So where the ambivert omnivert fits in now, so we have David Chan looking. Their system is getting messed with by this EP over here. Now it says ambivert omnivert. They look, they look kind of upset. So let's see if we can make them smile. Yay, they're happy. Okay. So that's the deal. We're changing the, the sixth coin. We're just naming it. We're just giving it a name. And we're trying to understand what is this pattern? And does it help you with typing? So the animals are only two coins, really, because you get the first animal for free. With the OIOE, D-I-D-E coin, you get that animal for free. This coin that I'm talking about, the ambivert omnivert, gives you the second animal coin. And finally, the third and fourth animal coin are given by the info energy. So you'll notice that there are two coins to determine the first animal, one coin to determine the second animal, and one coin to determine both the third and the fourth animal. So that's how it works. That's a pretty interesting way that how that works. But um, anyway, thank you for listening. This has been a presentation of the ambivert omnivert coin. Let me know. If you want to hear anything more from me on this that was just a quick rundown there's a lot more you can get into